Hi, I'm David and welcome to another Learning with Olympus video. Now we all know that the Olympus cameras have some amazing exclusive features and some of them can be really, really tricky to get used to at the start. So I'm going to run through one of those with you just to give you an idea of how it works and how you can use it. The feature that I'm going to look at today is Live ND. Now that feature is on two cameras, it's on the EM1 Mark III and the EM1X. And it's a really cool feature uh, for times when you don't want to have to carry around neutral density filters. Uh, those incidents would be things like when you want to slow down your shutter to record smoky water, or to perhaps get rid of passing people in landmark areas. And this is all built into the camera and we can utilize this from ND2 right up to ND32. So I'm going to give you a little look at the menus now, show you how to set it up, then we're going to head outside because it's a beautiful day outside and we're going to look at our little fountain in the garden and see if we can get some shots of that using Live ND. Okay, so I've got my EM1 Mark III in front of me now and the most important thing to remember about using Live ND is that you have to be in either manual or shutter priority on the mode dial because this is all based around the shutter speed. So I'm in manual mode and I'm going to press menu. From the menu I'll be over here in the shooting menu number two and I'm just going to go across into live ND shooting just here. Now if I press the right key I've got a sub menu available to me just there. Going into there it gives me access to the ND number so the neutral density number that I can choose within the camera. In here I've got a choice of ND2, 4, 8, 16 and 32 and that's the difference between one and five stops of light uh, being pulled back and stopped from entering the shutter. So we'll set that to ND32 which is a nice strong one and then the second option down here is LV simulation so that means live view simulation and are we going to see through the viewfinder or on the back screen exactly how that image is going to come out with the neutral density applied to it. And this is a very useful thing to have on there. Um, it sometimes can feel a little bit strange if you're moving your camera around, but when you're fixed on a tripod it gives you a really clear view of what the image is going to be. So once we've set those, come out of there, say OK to on, and then when I go back to my shooting screen we'll see that ND32LV is at the top of the screen indicating that the next shot is going to be a live shot. So let's go out to the garden and put this into practice. Okay, so we've come outside and it's a really bright day. It's actually probably the hottest day we've had so far. I just recorded my thermometer at 32 degrees. So it's the perfect example to try and use live ND. Now we've got a little fountain in a bird bath in our garden and I'm gonna use that to demonstrate how live ND looks through your camera and how it works in these really bright conditions. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is our live view and as you can see, we can see that kind of milkiness appearing in the water now because the camera is showing us exactly how live ND is going to shoot the shot. And it's made me able to achieve an ISO of low 64, 30 seconds at f8. Now I'm going to take that shot, it is going to take 30 seconds, but I'll speed it up for the video so you guys will see the result really quickly. And I'll take that shot now. So there we go, there's two comparison shots. The first one which took a really fast shutter speed because of how bright it is and froze the water. And then the second one where Live ND has slowed all that down for us and we've got that nice milky look to the water as well. This is great for anything, like rivers and waterfalls and getting rid of people that are walking around in front of buildings and things. Wow, hottest day so far guys. It's sweltering out here. So let's head on back inside and finish the video up. So there you go, Live ND, a fantastic feature that means that you don't have to carry around extra filters if you don't want to. Go light and just have the feature built into your camera. Have fun with that and I'll see you all on the next video. Take care, bye bye.